Okay. So we had um, Coyote Peterson on the channel before. He's actually already on our YouTube. But this man does some crazy shit, bro. Last time we watched him get stung by by a, a wasp and a, like a hornet, whatever the fuck. This one is spitting cobra, so he gets venom on his face. But he has a shield right there, so I don't know. We'll see what it is, man. Anyway, this is Brave Wilderness spitting cobra versus my face. Out there in the jungle, I approached this snake and with a paw. Said no one else would do that. What's up, Bon? What's up, Fat? I got the pizza okay. rolls right here, man. We're really chilling. Keep this low, okay? Keep this low. Do a quick check. Oh my god. All right, just hang on there, dude. Hang on, it's gonna be fine. Mmm. Today we're filming an episode that features one of the most dangerous snakes in all of South Africa, the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. This reptile oh, is primarily boy. armed with a cytotoxic venom, and a bite becomes an immediate medical emergency. And the crew and I are going to participate in a training drill that will prepare us if the worst case scenario happens. Are you ready? Let's go. Our medical emergency and getting being a bite victim to a medical facility is always a priority. Yep, we already know, man. Right. If you get bit by one of these things, fucking run, man. Get some attention, snake. some medical attention. Bro, he's fooling. <laughs> <laughs> and ah! oh, Mike, I got bit. Coyote freeze, back up, back up, back up. Tyrone, can you just get the ah, It's like a run through of like if something hold happens. Still, still. Okay, snake secured. Snake secured, good. Mario, can you grab me that chair, please? Ah, the next he's the trolling. He definitely thought he got bit in the, the beginning. The oh god, the I forgot to turn the blur ball. It's fine. Calm down, just need you to stay calm. Okay, hold still. It's gotta be that tight. Yep, we gotta keep these things nice and tight. You see, you're gonna see the perfect squares as they come through. Okay. I'm gonna pull my gloves real quick. He's fooling, right. bro. Oh, they had to do the whole anything. arm, keep huh? Keep it lower than your heart. Okay. All right. Let's get you up. You nice get bit slow. by a venomous snake, and there's Fingers like personnel right there to help you out. Like, that's what they gotta do, man. I guess. I know they had to wrap the whole arm. It makes sense, though. Let's go ahead and get a move on this. We're gonna rock. Is he actually like Paul? And he's got the antivenom to pass into us, so we can get it. The definition of no fears. Oh my God! Just hang on there, dude. Hang on. It's gonna be fine. And that is about as fast as you would need to move if that worst case scenario presents itself right if you're bitten by something show, like yeah. a mozambique spitting cobra you literally have minutes to get yourself into a vehicle and on your way to an emergency center that was intense okay now let's go film with the mozambique spitting cobra there we go baby the kwazulu natal region of south africa is well known for its high density of reptiles and today, oh my god wait bit, wait is well known for its high density of reptiles that's an alligator, bro. That shit, that, bro. They're literally dinosaurs, bro. Nobody can tell me different. They're living dinosaurs, alligators, and fucking birds. And today, we will be getting dangerously close with the Mozambique spitting cobra. This is one of the world's most advanced venomous snakes. This is a crocodile. And they're Whoops. capable of doing this. Accurately Ugh. spitting potent venom from a pair of modified front fangs. Yeah, so then we got a little this venom open in there. Is used as a or only in China. Oh, okay. Often aimed at the eyes of a would be attacker, which in turn would give the snake a chance to escape the imposing threat. Assisting with this extreme experiment is reptile specialist Tyrone Ping. Okay. He's here to help safely rein the snake if things get out of control. I'm sure we are all curious to see how accurate the aim of this snake really is. And the only way to find out is to let one of these deadly reptiles spit directly at my face. Not gonna lie, finding out that Coyote Peterson right, is bald is kind of funny. Set. I didn't know. Mozambique spitting cobra the hat on. right here underneath this blue bucket. Now, a lot of this might happen really quickly. These reptiles are incredibly accurate with their spitting ability. Let's see if we can catch it in slow motion. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get into position here, bro. Whoa. Definitely a little nerve-wracking. All right, Tyrone, when you're ready, what let's I say, uh, I'll be back anxious, the man. And see what happens. Look at him, big dude. Let me get a close-up of his face. Look at that, bro. If you are walking through wherever they were, I think they said like Africa or some shit. If you're walking through whatever you're walking through, bro, and some tall grass, you just see these eyes looking at you, bro. What are you supposed to do other than cry, run, or just or just be there in fear, frozen? 
Hey here, buddy. Okay, staying calm at the moment. My God, man. Oh, jeez. He just—he just straight up—he just straight up did it. There was no warning signs or nothing. He just looked at him to spat. To spat on him. Oh wow! Full shot straight into my face. Holy cow! Did you guys see that? Wow. The shield is completely coated. What's unique about this cobra is you'd think they would have to be completely reared up and hooding to be able to spit, but they can actually spit from that lower angle, and that's one way that they easily trick any invading predator to think, all right, I'm going to be able to get in there and get my food, but then, ah, the cobra does that, just like that with the face. And that accuracy is unbelievable. All I have to do is move in close. Ah! And look at that, how quick that is. And that's man. a little bit less of a stream than He's I thought. He's just dinking them with this stuff, just man. just like a bunch of mist as you're driving through, let's say, a car wash. And it's like all over. All right, go in first. And you would think it would be like one of like a rattlesnake or something. Something that would just warn you, bro. Like if you just run into this by accident, you're kind of like screwed. You don't have a chance. Because y'all seen how you opened up the bucket, it was on site. The Mozambique spitting cover is actually like Godzilla and King Kong. It was just on site, bro. No talk, just fight. This highly evolved defensive ability of the snake specifically is what makes it so. Bro, a cobra unique. sniper, he and really it is. He's able to blind anything that's potentially attacking it. That, of course, gives it the chance to quickly make an escape. Look at the precision. All I need to do is move very slowly back and forth, and that snake does not lose. It's focused on where my hand is at, and specifically where my eyes are located. Let's go for one more even closer. Yeah, it's about as close as you probably want to get to spin cover right there. Mm, 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 mm. Did he hit him? Every single time, it makes you jolt, even though I feel completely protected behind the nope. shield. Yeah, we have an yeah, ad because we support Brave know. Wilderness. There we go. It's party time, people, and Raid Shadow it Legends. It is party time and Raid Shadow Legends. We'll find out never. Now, one wow. of the things that's the most interesting about the fang design... And yeah, you're right. You said the neck flare was the only, like, that indicator. That is the only years. warning sign. And, and even then, you can't really even see it, man. Especially if it's, like, behind foliage and stuff, just some tall grass. Fang, you're out of there. The hole is actually in the front, and it is specialized muscles inside of the skull that allow it to spit. The closer I get, imagine if I was a leopard out there in the jungle, and I approached You just screwed, snake, man. And with a paw, reached out to touch that tail you get that reaction oh and there you have it is he just spitting full face yeah it full still happened dude he has so much venom. venom when is he gonna and run out venom is not used in any you gotta recharge man to catch and kill its prey it's only a defense mechanism but the venom that comes from the bite specifically has neurotoxic and cytotoxic properties this is an incredibly potent bite and if I was bitten, it would be an immediate medical emergency. Mm -hmm. And anti-venom would definitely need to be administered if we were to save my life. But the spitting aspects, like you saw just there, will not kill you. Okay. If it just gets ah, into your eye. Wow, that was two double squirts right in a row. Doesn't get much crazier than that. Oh, one of the coolest and most famous influences Oh, you said you got him in the Philippines, man. Yeah, bro. Cobra is, of course, the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. I think I'm going to chill where I'm at, man. The influence of this animal's ability to design the Dilophosaurus. Look at the awkward chart upgrade on the character. He really does. Spit venom. And right now, I definitely feel like Dennis Nedry. Oh, when it comes to getting shot in the face with toxic venom. You can I see definitely the like where I'm living now, man. Not much can really kill me here. At the moment. And that accuracy is impressive. Venomous snakes don't want to use their toxic powers on humans. But if you make the foolish choice to harass or interact with them, the consequences can easily put you in the hospital mm -hmm. or in a worst case result, six feet underground. So at this point, we are going to get the shield off of me because I certainly don't want to keep walking around with all the ability to accidentally wipe my fingers on that, getting anything in my eyes. Right. So in a worst case scenario, 
somehow get it on Trent. You guys, you have to understand, I've never seen Trent as nervous as I was when that Cobra got spit all over his camera. And I don't know if that's because Trent is afraid for his own well-being or the camera's <laughs> well-being, but safety first, so we gotta make sure that we get everything cleaned up as best we possibly can. And that's a wrap on the Mozambique Spitting Cobra episode. Wow. You know what I'm going to say next. But just in case you didn't pay close attention to our 25 previous snake episodes, mm -hmm. always admire these slithering reptiles from a respectful distance. Man. If you plan on visiting South Africa and need help properly identifying its herps, make sure to check out Tyrone's newly published field guide. W.N. To pick up a copy of your own, click on the link. And Tyrone made a book so you can recognize below. all the reptilians and snacks. Good stuff, man. Not bad at all. We, you know we gotta leave a like on that, man. Spitting Cobra versus his face. I'll tell you what, man. I think I'm just gonna stay where I'm at and not have to run into, you know, wild-ass snakes. I mean, where am I at? We have, like, garden snakes and shit, but we don't got nothing that, like, spitting venom fucking crazy shit, bro. I gotta, if I do, like, a walk in the woods, I gotta worry about whether there's a, a slithery boy waiting to attack me. Yeah, my son. Tell her, bring a friend. I wear my shades inside, they can't see through my lens Black mask all on my face, but man I'm solving riddles Illuminati bag, reach out me on them nickels Get money on them niggas, 2030 I got eight figures